In this tutorial, we're going to use an AI character generation tool to help us create avatars for our book characters. Now, here are some of the avatars that I've recently created for this book that I'm working on here. Now, recently we published two other character development videos. First, we published a video that walks you through uh, our 15 point character uh, profile template, which you see here. We also have published an in-depth video that explores the first two sections of this template here, the character want and character need. Uh, I used various examples to highlight the importance of creating friction between these two character design elements in that tutorial. Again, uh, that tutorial is linked to below. However, what I want to talk about today is a little less about structure and a little more uh, about our character visuals or visualizing our characters. Now, when writing our stories, we need to be able to see and touch, smell and feel our character's world. However, many times, especially when you're just getting started, the actual look of your character can be a little bit uh, elusive. The physical appearance and look of our characters is really important to us because they help us express who our characters are to our audience. But the problem is, is that the look of our characters often exist in this kind of strange abstract state, uh, especially at the beginning of the story writing process. So today I'm going to show you how you can use an AI powered character avatar design tool within Scribble here to help you design the look of your characters. Now, what I like about this tool is that it will help you fight against the stock images that flood your imagination when you're first starting to think about your character and who they are. For example, right now, imagine we needed a criminal for our story. Now, many of us, if we closed our eyes, would visualize a relatively similar looking type of character. AI essentially allows us to kind of get away from these kind of initial images to create a person who is more unique and human. When you generate characters using this tool, there's something about being able to see your characters in front of you, being able to look in their eye that will lead you down a unique narrative path which you might not have thought about on your own if you weren't using this tool as a visual prompt. Now this can be a very powerful tool, so let's jump in and start using it. So first you need to go over to Scribble and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Uh, link to Scribble can be found below. The next thing we need to do is we need to add a book. Now characters are always associated with specific books, so you can't add characters without books. Now I already have two books created here. Now as a side note, both of these book covers were actually created using our um, book cover AI uh, art generation tool as well. So now let's dive into one of these books here. Now from our writing pad, we'll click on people and places in the sidebar here. Now notice that I have some characters added already to this book. Now, from an organization standpoint, the benefit of adding your characters to a book is that it allows you to do a couple of things within the Scribble writing application. So let's go over those quickly uh, just before we start designing our first character. So first, back on our writing pad page, I can add any character associated with this book to each individual chapter. For example, I could add or remove characters here. This helps me keep track of who's in each scene. Second, over on the plot visualization page, I can see a top level overview of which characters are in each scene by looking at the bottom of each plot card here. Now third, over on our story base page, I can see all of the characters who are on the protagonist as well as the antagonist side. Now this helps um, to be able to kind of see your characters, especially in terms of their relationship to the groups of characters that they're going to be interacting with within your story. But before we can use any of these features, we need to add characters to our book. So let's jump in uh, and let's go back over to people and places. Now begin by clicking on add character. Now let's begin by giving our character a name. Then we'll select character priority here. Now, generally speaking, you'll have one main primary character. However, if you're telling a story uh, following multiple protagonists or multiple antagonists, you can always do that as well. But in my case, I just have one protagonist, so I'll select primary here. Also, because I'm designing a protagonist, I'll select protagonist down here as well. Next, I'll give my character an age, a nationality, a profession. Let's make this character have the profession of a criminal. Uh, I want to show you how this tool can allow us to fight against those stock images of criminals that come to our head when we initially start thinking about uh, these ideas. Next, I'll say that this character will be female, uh, who has neck tattoos, and wears glasses, and has a thin build. Now, here, I'm on a pro plan, so I'm going to select that I want to create uh, five character uh, AI art generations, but if you're on a free plan, what I suggest you do is you only select one so you don't burn through your AI runs too quickly. So let's see what the AI comes up with here. 
So as you can see, these are some really interesting characters. They're very different from the stock criminal images that for me, I personally was thinking about when I started thinking about this character. And the value of the AI in this case, essentially, is that it kind of widens um, your imagination and allows you to kind of take your character idea out of this kind of abstract space by actually painting a picture of the character and then kind of placing that character in front of you. Now that this character exists in front of you, what you can do is you can look at him or her and ask yourself questions about who this character is and how they got into the position or circumstances that they're in today. Now, once we're ready, we can select the character that we want to use and then click on add character. Now, this character will show up in our book and we can add her or him in your case um, to whatever chapters that you want them to appear in. Also, remember two really important things. First, you can always swap out this character image for any of the other images you generated by clicking on new image here. Or you can generate new character avatars by running more AI prompts up here. All new images will be added to this character sheet down here. Another thing you could do to save on AI runs is to download one of these alternative images and then when creating your next character rather than generating that character using AI runs, simply click on this tab here which allows you to upload an avatar. Here you can upload the image and use this image as your next character's image. Also, we've covered this in another tutorial, which I again have linked to below, but currently we're only just creating the character avatar. A character obviously is much more than their physical appearance. So to dive deeper, we have this 15 point character profile template, which you can access by clicking on this button here. Now here the character avatar will show up and we can start designing the rest of the character down here and over to the side. We can put here their wants, their needs, obstacles they'll face, their character arc and much more. Again, to learn how to use these features, watch the other video which I have linked to in the description below. But the main takeaway here is that this image can act as a visual jumping off point for you to kind of start coming up with ideas about who this character is, what they want and what they'll do to get it. So that's all I have for you today. Remember, a link to Scribble's character generation tool can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the latest tech advances in the writing world.